let us study laplace transform it's very simple and interesting topic and it has several applications in science and engineering also so let us discuss who invented this laplace transform first pierre simon laplace he was a french mathematician he invented this transform first basically it is a integral transform that means if you see the definition of laplace transform there is a integration so that's why we call it as a integral transform see when we have a function of t if you apply laplace transform on that function then that function will be converted into function of s okay so see uh, in transform what we do exactly suppose uh, we have one domain we have one problem or we have a function in that domain we have to solve the problem but it is difficult to solve that problem in a particular domain then what we do we apply the transform we shift this problem into another domain in that another domain it is comparatively simple to solve the problem we solve the problem we get the answer and again we apply inverse transform we get the solution back in the original domain so uh, this thing we do in case of any lap transform so this is also one of the transform so in laplace transform also we do the same thing last point is it has several applications in physics in chemistry and in many branches of engineering so you are familiar with differential equation getting in physics there is differential equation in chemistry also in electric engineering electronics engineering and many more when we have a simple problem simple differential equation then we can easily solve but when we have complicated problem with complicated differential equation getting then it is difficult to solve so when we have such difficult problem okay linear differential equation then we can solve it using laplace transform so this is a main important application of laplace transform let us discuss its definition make a screenshot of it and then we will go further let us discuss definition of laplace transform so it is defined as l of f of t i hope it is visible l of f of t is equal to integration 0 to infinity e is to minus st f of t dt let me write it once again yes now it is visible properly l of f of t okay so this is definition of laplace transform so when we have any function f of t if you apply laplace transform its definition contains integration 0 to infinity limits are always same 0 to infinity e raised to minus st is also there always also there f of t whatever the function we have we put it here so we get a laplace transform of f of t by solving this integration finally we will have one function of s since we have s here right variable s here so finally we get a function of s we denote it as phi of s so phi of s that function is a laplace transform of f of t getting for example suppose we have to find laplace transform of sin t so that means our function is sin t so in the definition also at a place of f of t we put sin t so this is equal to integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus st sin t dt by solving this integration we will have some function of s that will be the laplace transform of sin t okay so we will stop here i hope you understood the definition getting so in next videos we are going to discuss some problems okay uh, of laplace transform i am preparing a small small videos here you know, for this laplace transform and uh, size of my video depends on the length of problem okay so make a screenshot of it and then we will stop thank you bye bye